Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today, Battlefield 2042 dropped a new patch called uh, 4.0. And it added a few things. Uh, most likely, if you clicked on this video, you already know that it, it, it added uh, voiceover IP, a few bug fixes, not many, nothing like too crazy, but there was a good amount. Um, and then they added a scoreboard for the end of the game. Now, I haven't really played the game uh, since my live streams. Um, I did have a few issues. This is all raw footage right now as well um, with the game. So I am going to do like probably two or three matches max. Uh, see how it runs, things like that. Um, I did start up a few matches before this. Uh, breakthrough, I literally could not get into a match because they needed 25 players uh, to join. So that was kind of uh, not ex or, well, kind of expected. Uh, I did try going into Conquest. I did get into my first game of Conquest. The second one, I did not. Uh, same thing, it was 25 players needed to be able to start. Right now, we are in a hey, Conquest control, match a that's... Uh, goes up to 128 players i do want to try the 64 versions uh because they did add that but at the moment i have not tried that yet oh, looks like we got to be oh, no. i can't do anything for that thing but uh yeah that was a good idea <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much been my experience so far. Trying to get into matches with 128 players uh, has been hit or miss. Conquest has worked better than Breakthrough. And then also, um, when I did get into the Conquest one, you can obviously tell there are a lot of, uh, of bots. Actually, surprisingly, Charlie this game, attack. there's not a lot of AI. So this one might be built. This might be like the prior bad because i was looking at the uh the scoreboard here but yeah right here you can tell there's a lot of them actually it would say ai in parentheses next to the player's name if they were an ai um so surprisingly this one is actually full um if you look over here to the right Alpha i am in a match that's crossplay and i'm secure. also on pc so this guy is talking control. but unfortunately he is open mic my entire squad. Objective lost. We'll On PC, it. it's left alt to use the uh, in-game voice chat. So I did find that. Um, I did test it when you press it, it actually plays this little. It's very, very little to hear, but you can kind of hear there's a little beep um, when you do enable it. It's standard voice over IP. Still pretty crazy that the game didn't launch with it, to be honest. I still can't believe that that is, like, yeah, when I look at this update that they added today, it really didn't add anything new to 2042. As far as groundbreaking features, it pretty much is just adding things that, like, Battlefield 4 already had other previous Battlefield installments, uh, which is pretty crazy to, to think about, so... Yeah, that's that's pretty much been my uh, experience with it so far. Um, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because it might be a little bit louder. Um, but yeah, I do want to try the the other game modes though and see how they turn out to be with the um, 64 Conquest and 64 Breakthrough. I don't know if they're any better. I actually haven't tried them. Uh, since I last streamed the game, which was probably like the first week or two of the game releasing. But it, it has been quite a bit um, since I played. I didn't even get to see the scoreboard until today. Um, I know they added that a few patches back. But still. Um, regardless, I mean, so right now I am getting like about just under 60 frames or so. Here and there it still drops down to 35. Uh, for someone who, real quick, I'll show you my settings. Um, I do have a 1440p, 144.3, uh, 44 hertz 
most of my settings are on medium and I have DLSS turned off uh, all of this turned off as well and I do have a 2070 super uh, with an i7 uh, 6700 K so that's pretty much my build of God that guy's and as you can tell I don't know well I've died a few times but pretty much everyone that has been killing me have all been that red S rank. Because um, at this rate, that's literally all the people that are playing the game. Um, and then somebody like me, who I am level 27, I think. Which I think is pretty high for somebody who kind of dropped off uh, early on. But uh, everybody else is pretty much, yeah, look at that. Like, practically, that's normal at this rate to see. Um, oh, they did make a few XP changes for the game now. So, uh, capturing the objective, you know, costs less for XP wise. Um, doing objective things, basically they reduced it. So you get less XP for all the objectives that you do complete, which is kind of crazy to think about. They're um, back. Good work, no but they did increase it in other home. areas, I will say. Um, they increased it for, I believe, assists and any other type of, like, Enjoy vehicles. These moments when they come. Uh, Spectacular. That kind of stuff. Like, look at this. They're all S rank. So for them, it doesn't even matter that about the XP stuff, because they have already reached majority of their goals. Um, I do think a good amount of people will be jumping into this patch, but I think a lot of people are going to be kind of let down in a way, because there's not... There's nothing new as far as game modes or uh, brand new maps or anything. Like I said a few minutes ago, it is literally just adding features back that were already in previous Battlefield games. So unfortunately, that's kind of where it's at, but I am still going to uh, check out a few games, see how it goes, and kind of just keep playing from there. Um, is at this rate like i don't i didn't Let's purchase the started, huh? this game um i have ea play pro so i do get any ea games that they do release and that's how i'm currently playing it but i didn't directly buy it ea play pro on pc just basically gives you um all of ea games for uh either 15 dollars a month or 130 a year so it would have been the same price to buy the ultimate edition of this game I got EA Player instead, and I've had that for a few years now. That's how I've been uh, playing majority of my games these days, because in reality, if I'm going to play a ton of EA games, that makes more sense than buying them individually, spending 60 or $120, depending on the edition of the game. So... Once we get into the match here, I'll go ahead and check to see what um uh what frames I'm getting. So we're dropping into hourglass. Here, let's see. Yeah, hear that little sound? Uh, we have not That's the voiceover expect, IP. But we are enough. And for console players, it is open mic automatically, I believe. So, just be careful out there. <laughs> I already first first two matches that I did jump into, I didn't complete them all the way. I just jumped into them to see if I could find some games. But um, the first two games that I did jump into, there was not a single person talking. But the second, uh, the game that I just jumped into my first one for this video uh the guy was on playstation and he was open mikey a lot so that's going to be more of a thing but honestly at this rate that's kind of like typical with any other like cross play features so i guess we'll uh it, it was pretty easy to mute them as well if you just press escape and go to squad and players Anybody talking, you see them right here, and you can just mute them. Yeah, there he is. He's on the other team now, and he's muted still. So, 
Oh yeah, and here's how you can see. Um, so yeah, this match it got, I guess a lot of players dropped out because basically half of each team is full of AI. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this game. I'm gonna turn that off just in case. So yeah, in the top right you can see I turn on the performance overlay for NVIDIA. Uh, right now typically we're getting about 50 frames or so. And yeah, it looks like that's kind of where it's been at the majority of the time too. Of course, this guy, I was about to revive this guy, but he gave up. Now, there are still some moments where it does drop down to 35. And like I said, I'm on medium right now. Medium settings across the board. I did have DLSS turned on before I started the video. I also had, uh, I was on high before I started the video as well. Both of those, I decided to bump them down. Uh, bumping down from high to medium did kind of shoot me up about 10 frames um, I was getting like 45 at the time and it bumped me up to like 55 but it could be map specific it could be the, whatever firefight I was in like I wouldn't take any anything of my settings as standard in a way it's first kill on stream or on the video I think our forces control most sectors I don't know if they went in there. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I forget what gun I'm... Oh, I'm being, using the PP-29. Yeah, so, oh, I remember. When I was using this gun originally, the fire rate... Okay, I think they turned up the recoil and everything. The PP-29 was absurdly good even though it was like a short range weapon it would get kills from further than some of the assault rifle weapons out there it was pretty wild uh on release Let's see if i can grab this guy i'm here don't move take this After this match, or like maybe halfway through, we can uh, swap over to the 64. Yeah, so if we were playing 64, 64 version right now, we'd be fine because the 35, it's 35 versus 34 real players. Um, so I just realized that at the top of the scoreboard, you can actually kind of see uh, 35 players, 34, and then it fills in AI for the rest of them. Uh, I don't know if Breakpoint fills in AI for a lot of the games because every I tried searching for a few breakpoint games uh, about two or three times and each time it put me into the lobby and I was basically waiting on 25 players um, one time I did get put into the same lobby but I did not successfully get into one so that's just my experience of how that went I don't know if that's across the board but yeah i am kind of curious i mean so it's pretty early on for today so i'm kind of curious what the uh steam charts are going to show around 12 or like maybe on later on in the day uh if it's going to go up because of the patch or if we're really not going to see a spike uh, i know for the last month or so I believe the game's been at for Steam charts around uh, like 1900, or so just or just shy of 2K for the most part. Um, Can you hear me? So we'll see if it if anything really changes or not. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever. I'm really just curious. I mean, so. Because I have the game through EA Play Pro, I do have the Ultimate Edition. And I'm just realizing now, yeah, those AI guys. That guy's body just went flying into the air. Um, 
I am just thinking about this right now. So, technically you get the year one pass, but they haven't released any content in year one as far as new content, like other than the Battlefield Friday portal stuff. So, I'm curious if they're going to maybe change it up and extend year one into year two. I mean, at this rate, they have to. They, it, there's no way they can uh, just leave year one. I mean, they could. That would be a very EA thing to do, but there's no way anybody would, you know, support any future games. Or at least... At this rate, I mean, honestly, everybody should really wait for the next one. But... Let's see. That's the one nice thing about uh, having EA Play Pro is... Technically, I was able to try this game before I ever purchased it, and now if I really did want to purchase it fully and stop EA Play Pro, then I could just buy the game for 30 bucks on Steam, because it goes on sale for that nowadays. But I'm probably not going to do that, because yeah, it's been working fine for me. EA Play Pro is actually not bad. It's not a bad deal for what you get. Especially if you buy a lot of games. If you buy more than two games in a year from EA, it already paid for itself. Try to grab this guy. Oh, no. Something for you! Apparently they made some, I think they made some UI changes. Not 100% sure on what exactly those are. Um, I haven't been following the game completely. I've kind of just passively seen it on Reddit and things like that on Twitter here and there. So uh, it wasn't until yesterday I found out that there was gonna be a patch, which I think is when they pretty much told everyone anyways about 4.0. Um, but yeah, so. Actually doing all right this match. I don't know if we're gonna stick in this one the whole way through because it is going to be quite a long match. But we'll see. I also don't wanna make this video like kind of 10 hours long. Uh, at like an hour or two. Uh, because, yeah, it's, there's no way somebody's going to watch all of that anyways. So, I mean, right now we're 18 minutes in, so I could probably call it here, but I'm going to keep going for a little bit, see how it goes, and, uh, maybe like a 30, 40 minutes or so. Copy that. Vehicle support incoming. I heard that uh, they've been supposedly teasing, or possibly there was a leak of new maps coming. Not 100% sure about that, but I heard that there. I heard that they're talking about, uh, or somebody put out there that there supposedly are two maps that may be coming to the game. Um, I don't know how credible they were, or like if there's anything solid on that. But if you know anything, feel free to like leave a comment and let me know. Um, if this does okay, like I might keep jumping in here and there and test out a few maps and. Uh, or a few modes, whatever the case is. I do really hope that um, Portal continues to kind of get support the game. I, my most excited thing about this game was Portal mode from the beginning because of all the options that you could have playing that mode, but then they took away like all the experience part of it. So if you did want to play, you know, the ranked mode or the 
uh, their regular, not ranked, but you know, the official gameplay stuff of Battlefield 2042. It, it was just upsetting that all the progress that you did in portal mode basically didn't translate over. Some of it does, and, and I believe they made some changes now, but it, it's just unfortunate that a lot of the changes they made was to counteract the XP boost. But here we are in a match where I would say probably uh, maybe like two thirds of the players in this game are already like S rank or the, the red rank uh, class or not class, but level. Like for them, it doesn't even matter anymore. Now it's literally just the players who just jump in the battlefield here and there and have fun. Um, and they're still kind of reducing the XP stuff. Like I understand you don't want it to be too easy, but at the same time, you're not really unlocking a ton of new stuff at all times. Uh, there's not even like a ton of weapons that you can unlock. So in a game like Battlefield 4, it makes sense because there's like 120 weapons or however many there are. But in this, I think there's like a total of like 25 or something. So it's not like you're unlocking, you're literally unlock goals are mostly objective based and then they're also for your specialist, which is its own separate thing. Um, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, like I said, it's been a while, so I keep saying that. It has been a while since I've played this game. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like my thought process on it. Oh. Storm. 23 frames right now. 19. I think majority is it is from the storm. Possibly loading in. I am really curious how the next game or how like this game in order for for them to restore their faith in the community they really have to update this game and make it to a point where it's worth playing or even buying but if they don't do that there's no way ea is going to be or battlefield is going to be around in the next like five years Let's, um, there. Hey, I'm going to see if I can get into a 64 match. So I will be, uh, yeah, it's just, you guys aren't, aren't going to notice anything because I'm just going to pause it right here for this video. And then it'll be back into a uh, 64 match in a few seconds here. All right, we are back. And after probably about 15, 20 minute queue times, uh, I finally found a match. Basically, uh, I searched for 64 Conquest. Um, I kept getting put into a queue where it said we needed like anywhere from five to 10 players. Um, and then a few times I searched again for uh, pretty much the same game mode. And finally, I got put into it where we needed at least three more players and it kept going up kept going down kept going up and finally we got into a match uh which is obviously right where you see it uh where i started to resume the video so yeah pretty much where we're at um we'll probably go for a few minutes here not like too much longer uh because it's already good amount of time that passed so we did get into kaleidoscope and from what i can see right yeah 
I wasn't equipped or prepared to fire back. Okay, not that bad. Sorry, I muted myself uh, for the video because my dog is barking. My, my wife just left uh, for work. But yeah, also we're getting pretty good frames right now, surprisingly, uh, in this 64 match. We're getting about uh, probably the highest I've seen so far with 65, 70 at times. Um, now the problem is, I think for the 64 matches, they require to fill in with all 64 players before they add any type of AI if people leave um, Unless actually I'm not sure How low is the requirement? Because if you look at the teams It's about there's only one two three four five six There's about 13 players that are real players on my team and the other team has about the same. I I don't know what my play down question or uh, he is. So I kind of got myself killed there. Um, also, I need to change the the crouch is not keeping me crouching all the way or staying there. Toggle. There we go. Prone is Z. Yeah, I did press Z a few times. Oops. Pretty much all the kills I've been getting so far have been mainly AI uh, from what it looks like there are real players like that uh, was an AI <laughs> but yeah this game still needs a lot of that was an actual guy actual player game still really needs a lot of work honestly I feel like the biggest thing too is gaining its player base back because without that, I mean, just for me playing for or trying to find a match for like the last hour or so, um, I spent probably just about Objective the same time queuing for a game as I have actually inside of the games. Um, and that's not really the greatest thing. Now, I, I've been playing Battlefield since 1942. That was my first FPS. I still have hope. Not much, but I have hope that they'll at least bring it back because in the past, other battlefields they released and they haven't been in the greatest states either. Um, and over the years, they continued developing them and they got better and better. But I don't know, something about 2042 has been not the greatest from the beginning. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where it's at. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this video though. So pretty much 4.0, just as a quick recap, it added a lot of, um, you know, regular bug fixes and things like that. It did add a good amount of features that were in previous games. 
Uh, no, but actually it did add uh, some bug fixes. It did add uh, voice over IP, which does, it is uh, open mic pretty much if there's another player um, or another console player in your squad. So just be careful with that. For PC, it's press and hold left alt. Uh, aside from that, I mean, the frame rate in the 64 match is pretty good right now, but it's not like anything crazy. It still had a bunch of issues with trying to find matches and actually load into them. I get stuck into 25 players needed before match starts, 10 players needed, 5 players needed, and that is with crossplay enabled. Um, and I'm trying to think, oh yeah, they also made the XP changes for the game as well. So, I mean, the game does look great at times when, you know, when it's running good. Right now we're up here getting 75, 76 frames, like not too bad. But as far as gameplay wise, still needs a lot of work. Still needs to be, uh, have a player resurgence again. Still needs new maps, new content and all of that, so. 4.0 really is just features that have been in previous games added back into this one. Uh, also, the scoreboard plays if you finish the game. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot that. If you look at the top, it actually tells you how many real players are in your match. So it's 14 and 15 on, all, on each of these teams. Um, that's going to be it for now for this video. So if you did enjoy this, definitely leave a like. Uh, if you plan on jumping into Battlefield with this new patch update or if you have any feedback, let me know. Uh, I know it's a little bit bumpy because I'm still getting used to recording videos rather than just streaming. I do stream typically around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, uh, almost daily, and then weekends are a little bit spotty. Uh, all depends on what's happening for that weekend. So, uh, cast this plays on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. Pretty much all those platforms. And for now, that's going to be it for me. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Have a good one. Peace.